Hello everyone, in this video, I will show you how to calculate the ship's kg and initial metacentric height or gm. As you can see on your screen, this is a multiple weight problem that includes how to apply the free surface moment of a slack tank to determine the effective kg and gm. So let's start. The problem is. Calculate the fluid GM, if the ship's initial displacement is 7,200 tons with an initial kg of 6.820 meters. The following cargo has been worked out. Load 1,200 tons at VCG 2.6 meters. 550 tons at VCG 3.4 meters. And 780 tons at VCG 8.9 meters. Discharged 430 tons at VCG 0.7 meter. 820 tons at VCG 3.1 meters. And fill in the four peak tank with ballast water to a sounding of 156 centimeters with a relative density of 1.016. The KM for the final displacement is 7.050 meters and the ship's final trim is 2.35 meters by the stern. Calculate the effective GM. The first step is to find the final displacement and final vertical moment. To determine the final displacement, we will just add all the weight being loaded from the initial displacement, and subtract all the weight being discharged. And to find the moment, the formula is weight times distance. For the weight, it is the weight being loaded or discharged and that includes the ship's initial displacement. For the distance, it is the VCG or vertical center of gravity of the weight being loaded or discharged and it includes the ship's initial kg. I made a separate video on how to determine the VCG using a sounding table. Kindly check the link in the description. First, we will find the vertical moment of the ship during its initial condition. The ship's initial displacement is 7,200 tons, multiplied it by the initial kg which is 6.820 meters. The vertical moment is 49,104 ton meter. Next, we will determine the vertical moment of the cargo being loaded and discharged, and that includes the moment of the ballast water that has been filled into the four-peak tank. The cargo being loaded is 1,200 tons multiplied by its VCG which is 2.6 meters. The vertical moment is 3,120 ton meter. Another cargo is loaded with a weight of 550 tons, times its VCG which is 3.4 meters. The moment is 1,870 ton meter. Then another cargo is being loaded with a weight of 780 tons, times its VCG which is 8.9 meters. The moment is 6,942. Next, we will proceed to the cargo being discharged which is 430 tons, multiplied by its VCG which is 0.7 meter. The vertical moment is 301 ton meter. We will mark 430 tons and 301 ton meter with negative signs because later on, we will subtract all discharged weight and moment in order to find the final displacement and final moment. Next, another cargo is being discharged with a weight of 820 tons, times its VCG which is 3.1 meters. The moment is 2,542 ton meter. Then mark those with negative sign since it is discharged. Next, we will find the weight and VCG of the ballast water being filled into the four-peak tank, and that includes the free surface moment since this is a slack tank or partially filled tank. We need the ship's sounding table to determine the following data. You can find the sounding table in the stability manual on board provided by the ship's builder. This is a sample of the ship's sounding table. I made a separate video on how to determine the mass, VCG, and free surface moment. Kindly check the link in the description below if you are not familiar how to use the ship's sounding table. 
In this particular problem the mass of the ballast water inside the four-peak tank had a sounding of 156 cm with a relative density of 1.016, at a trim of 2.35 m is 13.29 tons. The 13.080 cubic meters that you can see here is the volume. We use interpolation to determine the volume of the ballast water using a scientific calculator. To find the mass, just multiply the volume and the relative density in order to determine the actual mass. The value of VCG is 1.33 meters, and the free surface moment is 5.69 ton meter. We make some corrections on the free surface moment since the provided data in the sounding table are based on the relative density of ballast water which is 1.025. The VCG is not affected by the relative density of the liquid inside the tank, so correction is not necessary. So the mass of the ballast water inside the four-peak tank is 13.29 tons. Multiply to its VCG which is 1.33 meters. The moment is 17.68 ton meter. And the free surface moments of the ballast water is 5.69 ton meter. Always remember that the mass and VCG of all tanks filled with liquid should be determined. The free surface moment should be determined for all slack tanks to find the final kg. Again, if you are not familiar how to determine the mass, VCG, and free surface moment of the liquid in the slack tank, I made a video tutorial for these. Kindly check the link in the description. Next, we will determine the final displacement. Add all the loaded weight to the initial displacement and include the weight of the ballast water in the four-peak tank. Then subtract the discharged weight. The final displacement is 8,493.29 tons. For the final moment, do the same as the final displacement. Combine all the positive moments, and always remember that the free surface moment will always be added. Then subtract the negative or discharged moment. The final vertical moment is 58,216.37 ton meter. To determine the final kg, the formula is. Final kg is equal to final vertical moment divided by the final displacement. So we have 58,216.37 ton meter divided by 8,493.29 tons. Cancel both unit ton. The final kg or fluid kg since free surface correction has been applied is 6.854 meters. To find the fluid gm, the formula is. Fluid gm is equal to the km for the final displacement minus fluid kg. You can find the km value on the ship's hydrostatic table. This is a sample of a hydrostatic table in which you can see in the first column the value of the ship's mean draft. In the second column, the value of the ship's displacement in salt water. You can find the km values in the last column of this table. Use this km value with the small letter t means transverse since we are calculating the vertical distance. This is not the hydrostatic table intended for this problem. The given km in this problem is 7.050 meters. Minus, the fluid kg which is 6.854 meters. The fluid gm is positive 0.196 meters. Our gm is positive since the km value is greater than kg, so the ship is in a state of stable equilibrium. And for the intact stability criteria, in number 6, it's stated here that the initial metacentric height should not be less than 0.15 meter. This refers to a fluid GM since it is corrected for free surface. Based on our answer, we passed these criteria. That's all for now guys, see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.